everybody, my name's Rosie and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're all doing really, really well. It's been a while since I've sat down and done an empties haul and that's evident because this basket is so overflowing that I've just got bits casually on the side that Peggy's just sat on that I physically cannot fit in the box any longer. So, we've got so much stuff to get through guys and I've got obviously my old good old staples but i've actually got so i've been trying some new things recently i wanted to talk to you guys about so yeah that's what we're going to be doing i can hear rufus who if you don't know is my housemate spaniel going in my room and taking stuff so that'll be chewed up later and i do have two little pugs so you will hear snoring and grunting now if you are new here please do hit that subscribe button it really really does help me out but if you are existing please check that you are still subscribed i've had a few messages recently letting me know that youtube have been unsubscribing people from my channel which is really really nice um, my videos haven't been doing great recently so any engagement is always really really appreciated but yeah let's stop going on about it and let's get into it i've got my bag for life this one's got two little cute pins on it don't know if it's gonna be big enough but we'll try and i'm gonna start off with the things that i can't fit in the basket like they've fallen out they're no longer in there so first off we have this garnier marcella aloe water these are all right i don't really use marcella waters they last me a long time um but if i was to pick up a marcella water it would usually be the garnier one normally the standard pink one um i don't know where i got this one from but i finished it and it's okay it's a marcella water it does what it says on the tin i personally prefer to double cleanse my face but if i need it for any mistakes like makeup mistakes or anything like that then they are handy to have next up we have this pixie double cleanser I didn't really like this cleanser, honestly. Um, it's a half and half. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Oh, it just fell on my leg. So it's like this. It's all hairy and gross. So you had half balm and half cream. And it had no smell, which is fine. But I just didn't feel like it really removed my makeup that well. I feel like you can get balms that are really affordable creams that are really affordable that do a bit of a better job than this one i also found the 50 50 bit although it was cool packaging quite difficult to use because it's got quite sharp corners it's difficult to get like your finger in there and get all the product out um so i personally wouldn't buy it or recommend it which is unusual because i usually really like pixie's products but i just wasn't wasn't feeling this one that much but if you like it let me know leave all your comments down below guys just because i don't like something doesn't mean it's bad doesn't mean that you guys don't have to like something and i'm always really intrigued to hear either recommendations or if you've had a different experience with something than i have because we're all different so yeah so i also have this herbal essence conditioner and you're gonna be like rosie what's happened to your phenola don't worry don't worry there's phenola in here however i had a really weird experience with my hair a few weeks ago which i've never experienced before so i used my phenola shampoo as always and then i'd run out of conditioner so i used a different conditioner which was is it a garnier one or something i can't remember what it was and my hair felt like it had thick build up like clay in it like i've never experienced it before i washed my hair so many times four or five times and i could not get it out i had loads of people come around for a barbecue my hair looks like thick with like cakey oily greasy like clay like stuff like it was awful it took me ages to get it out so um my friend who's a hairdresser recommended just getting some normal shampoo not using any of the products i'd use i don't think it was my phenola because i've used it for forever and you know that i think it was a conditioner but i decided to go and get something completely different and i sat with just the pure shampoo on my hair not wet or anything with the herbal essence shampoo on my hair for about an hour an hour and a half washed it out and it worked really well and then i really liked the smell of it and i really liked how my hair felt so i just carried on using them and this is i've still got the shampoo left but this is a conditioner and i really liked it it's white grape white grapefruit and it's silicon free conditioner i'm gonna make your hair shiny and i would definitely buy this again like if I'm, i order my phenola from online usually so if i ran out of that and needed some conditioner or some shampoo i would definitely grab this and i'm sort of tempted because i've got quite a lot of phenola shampoos i always run out of conditioner a lot sooner than shampoo i'm kind of tempted to just switch to this for a little while anyway my hair smelled amazing it felt really nice just really enjoyed using it so 
yeah that's that then we've got my good old faithful soap and glory dry shampoo i've spoken about this lots of times it's my favorite dry shampoo and um, boots often do three for two on soap and glory so i usually pick it up then it just smells really great it works really well for my hair personally but i don't just like using it for dry shampoo if my hair needs a bit of a freshen up scent wise you know if you've been cooking or something like that then um yeah i just like to spray it to give it a bit of a freshen up with the scent it has something called touch release so you sort of do a scratch and sniff as I always say but yeah for me I really love this dry shampoo I've mentioned it loads of times so yeah I really like that one I've then got this little juice beauty stem seller anti-wrinkle moisturizer I was recently using this as my night moisturizer and it was really nice I like this sort of packaging and um, I don't think it lasted that long I don't think you get like the most amount in here it was sort of full and then it slides upwards rather than it being in a bag which these usually come in um, and I couldn't get any more out of it like I've tried um, it had like almost a vitamin c type feel to it and yeah it was nice I can smell like the citrusy smell um it was nice and hydrating I'm not going to rush out to buy it because there's so many creams that I like but if I got it again I'd definitely be happy I don't actually know how much this costs let's have a look oh my god this is so expensive okay for this price I wouldn't buy it so it says that this is 67 pounds I had no idea if that's for 50 mil okay so this is 15 mil so just a little try out but for the full size which is 50 mil it's 67 pounds that is spendy I wouldn't recommend it for that price I think there's lots of other creams you can get out there but I did enjoy using it and like I said I'd be happy if I got it again but yeah I'm not gonna say like you should definitely buy this because that's a ridiculous price i can't think of any moisturizer that's worth that much money honestly then we've got the good old vaseline the coco radiance coco butter lotion i really like this stuff i think it's a really nice moisturizer you can usually get it on offer i would always recommend trying to get it on offer and um, yeah this is 400 mils for this one and i just really like it it's a really nice moisturizer it smells amazing if you like a coco butter scent but it's not as thick it's like cocoa butter mixed with a nice sort of creamy moisturizer smell you know your standard moisturizer smell um it's a lot more um the consistency is a lot more liquidy than your standard cocoa butter and yeah i guess because it's mixed with like vaseline jelly but it doesn't feel vaseline -y, it doesn't feel greasy in any way i feel like it sinks into the skin really nicely it dries really nicely my skin always feels lovely using it so i'm definitely going to carry on buying this when it's on offer i really really enjoy using this moisturizer you know me guys i love my dove aerosols i'm not going to go on about it i talk about them in every video but they work well for me however i have been mixing things up a bit so we'll get to that shortly I've got this little box of duck dr dennis gross these are the ultra gentle daily pills this is just a little sample i've had a few samples of these now these are expensive very like well known very good skin brand and i enjoy using them but i'm never going to buy them because i'd have to remortgage my house they're so expensive and i just prefer using other liquid exfoliants really just because i can afford those and i can't afford these these help smooth fine lines minimize the look of pores improve the appearance and uneven tone of texture and they're just a two-step like pill for your skin so like an exfoliator is what i understand it to be and um, so they're a nice treat i use them if my skin's really struggling with texture and stuff so yeah they're all right next up we have the inky list Solvic acid brightening cleanser i didn't really like this i finished it i think i used it to clean my makeup sponges quite a bit as well um it had like a bit of a weird texture almost like it had beady bits in it um it may it like my eyes are really sensitive so i have to be quite careful with cleansers and this did irritate my eyes every time i used it i just didn't like it i just didn't like it at all but you know i know some people really love it and it's a really great brand and i think if you like this sort of texture and this type of cleanser then it would be for you it's just not the type of cleanser that i gravitate towards so for me i won't be getting it again just got a couple of mallow's beauty little things here and i've really been enjoying this brand i do think you could probably get things that are more affordable but i do remember that these are like a small independent business and i do like to support those this is a cherry body scrub um really nice smell amazing it's more like a sugar scrub um and yeah it was beautiful and i, I just love the smell of these so yeah i did like it but i just wish they were bigger tubs because they're not that cheap I always get them when they're on offer on TikTok shop, but they're not overly cheap and they're not the biggest tubs in the world. Um, so these were a nice treat, but as much as I'd love to buy them all the time, it's just not feasible on like the budget that I'm on because you can get a really similar 
exfoliator that does a really similar thing for like Primark for £3.50 or Superdrug's own for like £4 and they are bigger tubs so yeah then their shave butters I've really been enjoying their shave butters I have been using them every time I shave I do feel like I get a really smooth lovely shave um, no irritation don't seem to cut myself um, yeah just really nice I really love the texture of them this is a unicorn one it smells beautiful and um, yeah I really enjoyed using it they're just really nice apparently other brands are doing them like um, one of my friends spoke about the Sassy Wax shop as doing these soaps now so I might try one of those because they are about half the price of this brand's one and they look very similar so I've been intrigued to see the difference but the scents of these are so beautiful so strong you can smell them on your skin afterwards they do also do a like plain jane one which i have been using recently a bit better for your bikini line um it's just like a really subtle coconut hardly anything there um but yeah i've been loving these i get such a lovely smooth shave with them better than any other sort of shaving product that i've used so i have been really impressed with these and i'd like to try some other brand ones as well sticking with mallow's beauty i've got this coconut shaving gel absolutely nothing special by this and i hate to say it because i do really love the brand but to me it was no different to any other basic shower gel that you would get and these are like 12 pounds absolutely not i would wouldn't be more than happy than paying two quid for this honestly um which is a shame because i had high hopes for them and i did get one for a gift i think it was my sister or my best friend i'm not 100 sure now and then when i used it myself i was like not bothered at all it was just a standard shower gel absolutely nothing to write home about so yeah i wouldn't recommend those honestly here's some vanilla then we've got the pink conditioner which is a volumizing conditioner i really like the smell of this one worked really well and then i've got their shampoo which is just a frequent new shampoo and this one smells lovely as well my go-to's i love vanilla i don't need to keep going on about it you see it in all of my empty reviews but yeah i love it i love that stuff I've also got a hair mask which I've been using less recently um not for any reason I just go through phases where I just feel like my hair really needs it and then I have phases where my hair doesn't as much but this is their multi vitamic mask it's really nice it smells really good I've definitely oh it smells really really nice I'd definitely get it again if it was an offer or if I saw it cheap enough on Amazon um I did really like it you get 1500 mil in there it's really affordable it lasts you ages especially if you use less than i do or if you have lesser hair than me um yeah really really nice hair mask just a few packets of wipes i wanted to talk about the first ones that i got these are from aldi and they're really good really nice wipes i really enjoyed using those and then these were really lovely so these i think i got these from sainsbury's i'd never used them before it i think the brand is my skin matters but these are Marcella cleansing wipes. I think they were like two or three pounds. It was the only ones, like the cheapest ones I had in um, Sainsbury's when I went. And these are lovely. Like they're so soft, but they just removed everything really well. Now I don't really use wipes that much, but I do use them if I make a mistake on my makeup. Um, if I just need to have a really quick like freshen up or whatever, then I will use these. And yeah, I just really liked them. The texture of the wipe was really lovely. The amount of product that was on each wipe was really nice and the product itself removed things really, really well. The best wipes I've found in ages. So they are a bit more spendy, but I definitely think I'd buy them again because they're not crazy priced and they just worked lovely. So you get 25 wipes in here, fragrance free, suitable for sensitive skin. I was just really impressed with them. Let me know if you've used those before guys, because uh, I've never even seen the brand before. I really like those. More from the Inky List. And this is an oat cleansing balm. Now, I jumped on the hype. It feels like there's some left in there, but I don't think there is. Is there? I jumped on the hype. I reckon if I cut it open, I could maybe get some more out, but I can't physically get any more out squeezing it. I jumped on the hype, and I wasn't that bothered either. Do you know what? It was a nice cleansing balm. It worked well, but the smell, I hated. And I guess that comes from the oat cleansing, and it has no perfumes or anything in it. Um, my skin can handle fragrances and perfumes so for me personally i would have preferred that because for me cleansing my face and doing my skincare is something that i really enjoy doing and i love like the luxury feel of it and this you know all your senses are 
and heightened so I love the scents and like the, the textures and all that sort of stuff and the texture was okay but the smell just put me off as soon as I put it on my face it just made me feel like not very nice so I know a lot of people like this and I'm sure for good reason because it did do a good job of removing my makeup but the experience of it for me I personally didn't enjoy so I wouldn't be buying it again but I know lots of people do do love this brand uh, the product and the brand like I said before is really really good I know that they have lots of really great skincare ingredients I know they do lots of good products for affordable prices this one's just not for me but their cleansers so far that I've tried are just not for me personally one hair product that I love and I'm definitely definitely gonna buy again this is the L'Oreal El Vive extraordinary oil flash blow dry leave-in mist now I spoke about a bumble and bumble version of this that I had it's a like accelerator blow drying mist so it helps your hair to dry quicker which I have a lot of hair and I really appreciate that because I hate drying my hair. I have to really mentally work myself up to it. It's an effort. It's long. Um, so yeah, this also has heat protector in it. And so you mist it over your hair like you would any heat protector when your hair's wet. And it does like it does fasten up the drying process. I really noticed a difference when I didn't use it. So this one is more affordable than the Bumble and Bumble. I also found this spray really interesting because... It, when you spray it, it comes out around this circle. So giving your hair a really fine mist rather than a, you know, uh, more of aggressive mist. I loved it. And it also reminds me of like a Dyson fan. Um, so yeah, this one, my friend sent it to me. I've loved using it. I'm definitely going to get it again, especially if I see it on offer. Um, and it has a heat protector in it as well, which is just like a double whammy. So yeah, love that couple of other hair products I've got there and I've got the L'Oreal 8 second wonder water I've spoken about this stuff before I absolutely love it my friend just started using it she messaged me the other day saying I can't believe I haven't used it like sooner I really really loved using it I was like well yeah obviously like listen to me um but yeah I love this stuff and probably a bit of a reason why I'm not using hair masks as much because this is so conditioning makes your hair so shiny and soft and yeah I just love it I also got the umberto gianni again I've spoken about these before very similar to the eight second wonder water same concept they smell amazing i particularly love the orange one but i love all of them honestly this one's for super smooth hair and it's a conditioner water and it does the same sort of thing these ones lava up quite a bit more than the other ones though so i quite like that about it but yeah love them would highly highly recommend them especially on offer on their direct website you can get them on boots and stuff and tk max often have them in there for like a fiver but on their actual website they often have like a good percentage off especially on their sets if you wanted like the shampoo conditioner wonder water for your hair type so yeah worth checking that out too i love those bumble and bumble got a lot of hair stuff in here as always i love this this is the invisible oil it's a dry oil i'd never used anything like it before i was really intrigued again my friend gave it to me and i love this stuff like after i start my hair i'll give it a quick spritz with this lovely which all gone it's just it smells really nice too dry oil rather than putting because i do like to put a bit of oil on my hair but sometimes i make that mistake of putting a little bit too much in one area and then your hair's ruined you need to wash it again you can't make that mistake with this it's beautiful you just lightly spritz it on it instantly makes your hair so shiny and so soft it's spendy i'll maybe look at other brands that actually do like a dry finishing spray oil um because i'm sure they do it i've just never seen them before never reached for them before but I've loved it. I've loved using it. I was gutted when it finished. It was beautiful. It smelled really nice too. I really, really like this brand. I wish it wasn't so expensive, but I'm sure there's a reason for that. Then got this little M&S little detox bath foam. It's like a bubble bath. It's like luxury. It's beautiful. Um, yeah, this one smells stunning. I love it. Oh, so nice. I love anything from this range from M&S. It's just so luxurious. It's so lovely. I just love M&S stuff. But this is a real like um natural oh, what's it called let's see if it says it on here so this one is 100 natural fragrance with essential oils that's what i was looking for of eucalyptus and peppermint it really did sort of like wake you up almost It'd be lovely if you had a cold as well and you just weren't feeling great oh, i just love anything like that though like essential oily smell i felt like i was in a spa every time i used it put a little bit of chill music on or a video like back relax breathe in the beautiful scents and yeah just loved it i love anything from them some more wipes these are just the 
super drug ones. They're nice enough. I just bought a load more actually because they had three for two on the twin packs. £1.50 for a twin pack. So I've got six packets for £3. You can't complain about that. So yeah, they're, they're good enough. They're nice enough. Got two of those. Got another Dove. Take a shot for every time I get some Dove out. Oh, then I've got this Dove Summer Revive Body Mousse. It's like a tan but like a moisturising tan, like a gradual tan, but in like an aerosol pump, which I really love. Um, it was really nice, really nice and moisturising. I love anything from Dove. I think Dove's one of the best brands that there has ever been and probably ever will be. It's really affordable, but it does such lovely things for your skin. This has apparently 48 hour moisturisation in it. It was just beautiful, nice gradual tan. I love a tan. I also like using these for if I've already fake tan and a couple of days into it, it needs a bit of topping up, a little bit of like, put a bit of life back into the tan if you like. So yeah, I would highly recommend this, especially if you're not wanting to cover yourself in fake tan, but you prefer the gradual tan in a mousse. Because I personally find mousses easier to use than any other tan. So yeah, I love that. I'd buy it again, definitely. Another tan we have here then is one of my new favourites. I'm definitely going to buy it again. This is a B tan forever and ever. Ultra long lasting. Now they say that this lasts up to 10 days. I don't know if it was 10 days. But it was definitely more close to a week. And I never found that it went tiger bready. I found that it just, I found that it just gradually faded away into nothing. I loved it. The first time I used it, I was not bothered. The first time I used it, I was just like, meh, wasn't bothered at all about it. But then I used it again and again and I kept reaching for it. I really liked it. I loved the colour. I loved how long it lasts and I loved how it faded. So I'm definitely going to buy this again. I don't really hear people speaking about this brand, but I love trialing out new tans. And yeah, I was impressed with this one. Hi guys, I just took a little break because out of nowhere, I just was so hungry. So I just went and had a bag of crisps. Okay, we got more Fanola conditioner yellow one really nice standard one um this is a restructuring conditioner yeah it's a good one i'm using it currently at the moment i like it next up i've got this revolution super fix super hold misting spray i really like this setting spray i'll definitely get it again i liked the aerosol that it was in although towards the end it did become a little bit aggressive i think it just got a little bit clogged up here but all around a really good setting spray um you think it's going to be a bit like a continuous mist, like the Morphe ones, and it isn't. It is a, uh, 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 ooh, rather than a continuous one. But nevertheless, really like it. I'd get it again if it was on offer or like a free for two or revolution or whatever. Another item from Mallow's Beauty then. This is the Pineapple Enzyme Cleanser. I really like this cleanser. It's like a gel formula. It's like a gel formula. It was really nice. I felt like it didn't last that long. Um, it's like this pump sort of action packaging but yeah it was a really nice cleanser i felt like it cleaned my skin really well i felt like my skin was like squeaky clean afterwards so i did really enjoy it so i'd be happy if i got it again then we have here the beauty bay moisturizer i love this moisturizer it's a really good moisturizer it's the squalane and Genzing gel moisturizer and i would definitely get it again when i'm out of moisturizers at the moment i've still got a few to be getting through but it's really affordable as well and you can normally buy like two cheaper than the price of one so yeah really recommend it if you're looking for affordable moisturizer um it's just, it was just really nice i really liked it got this little hairspray this is by percy and reed wasn't fussed i don't use a lot of hairspray though um but it was all right it did the job am i gonna buy it no i don't care what hairspray i use though um but if you're a person that maybe is a bit fussy about that sort of thing i'm probably not your person to listen to because i'll use whatever affordable because i rarely use it honestly next up we got this little boob tube grab your melons body scrub this is by anatomicals and it was really nice it was a good um i'd say more of a delicate scrub so it was like in a paste with little gritty bits it wasn't harsh at all so if you're looking for more of a softer scrub it is really nice it smells really nice as well it's like moisturizing smelling and it made your skin feel really good you get 250 mils in this one and yeah it was it was a good one and it reminds you to check your boobs on the back as well which is handy but another one from mallow's beauty here this is the coconut body butter their body butters are lovely but they are thick if you like oh it's nice no it's a nice coconut scent if you like a thick body butter then i'd recommend these however again they are quite spendy but you are supporting a smaller independent brand so you're weighing that up i got mine on offer on tiktok shops in like 
bundles, mystery bundles and stuff, and they work out a lot more affordable, so maybe give those a go, but obviously then you can't pick what you're getting. But yeah, really nice body butters. I've got a couple others on the go. They are really thick and moisturising. I imagine I'd really love them in the winter as well. Got another little mini of the um, Soap and Glory dry shampoo. Got another eight second wonder water. Just got this little mask from Garnier. I am slowly trying to get through my masks, but I've not been doing very well with it recently. But yeah, this was a nice one. Nice and moisturising, like plumping. I did feel that my skin was hydrated afterwards and that's what you want out of a sheet mask. So yeah, I liked it. Got this little setting spray by Morphe. This is the Illuminous setting spray. I really liked it. I prefer the continuous mist one. This is just a normal spritzer. Um, but it was a really nice setting spray, especially if you are looking for that more of a dewy look, but still want your makeup set in place. I'd recommend it if you can get it on offer, especially. Um, but yeah, I love a setting spray. I love a spray for my face. Peggy's just working her way behind me. You comfy there, babes? Good. So yeah, I really liked it. Would use it again. I'm not gonna rush out to get it just because I've got some to get through. Um, but like everything, if I saw it on a really good offer, I'd pick one up. Just some more bits from Mellow's Beauty. Let's get those out of the way. I've got two of the chocolate shave butter. This smells like proper real life chocolate brownies. You could eat it. These are just two mini ones. Stunning. Really, really stunning. The smell was like, yeah, you, oh my God. It smells like a brownie mix. Oh, it's so good so good you want to eat it and they look so pretty when you first start using them because they're all perfectly swirled like a cupcake a little bit of glitter on the top you know um yeah brilliant shave skin feels so lovely moisturized afterwards and then i've got one of their little um watermelon body butters again same as before really thick really moisturizing great for your elbows and your knees especially your heels and your feet that sort of stuff if you like a thick body moisturiser, then these are for you. Oi, oi, oi. Got this little Ahava um, mineral conditioner. I honestly can't comment loads on it because I had to mix it with another conditioner because there wasn't enough of my hair there, believe it or not. 40 mil. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I can't, can't say too much about that. One of my good old faves. This is the L'Oreal Hydra genius aloe water i love this moisturizer i haven't used it in quite a while i just finished off this one um i love the packaging i love the product i love a gel moisturizer the um beauty bay one is also a gel moisturizer i love a gel moisturizer especially for the daytime my skin drinks it up it near on like disappears straight away just sinks in and i love it i love how it feels it doesn't peel under my makeup it's a nice base you can use it as a primer and yeah it just feels really really great i use the one for normal to combination skin they also have one for dry skin be careful because they look exactly the same so always make sure which one you're getting but yeah i love it i've got something else from soap and glory this is a body scrub it was nice i really like soap and glory i love how perfumed they are um they smell lovely this is um again a quite a gentle scrub if you like a harsher scrub, this one isn't for you, um, but it was nice. Got a little hair oil here. This is just the Hask Argan Oil. If you like an Argan Oil, this is a good one. And um, this would have taken me absolutely ages to use because you only need a tiny bit and I don't use them all the time, but I do like an Argan Oil. So yeah, it was a nice one. Oh, we got some more Mallow's Beauty. Oh, this is the body. This is a carrot cake body scrub and this smell this is one of the best smells ever you think carrot cake gross oh my god got it on my nose it is beautiful i loved every moment of this they do a body butter and the smells insane but it left my hands slightly orange i did message them about it and they said that they haven't experienced that themselves or had anyone else mention that so maybe it was just me um i've actually got another one so maybe it was just that one that i got i haven't tried the other one yet because i just don't want to have orange hands but it didn't make my legs or my arms or anywhere else so i was putting it onto my body orange just my hands so maybe i could use gloves or something i don't know but anyway we we're not talking about that one right now we're talking about the scrub it was a beautiful scrub it was a really nice gritty scrub my skin feels so soft after using these scrubs i do really 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 love them and i love this scent i think it was limited edition i don't think you can get it now hopefully they'll bring it back next easter because it was delicious next up one of my favorite cleansers this is the ren cleanser i've spoken about this one a few times i love it um i cut it open so i can get every bit out i just love the formula 
um, I love the smell, I love how it feels on my skin, I love how it makes my skin feel, it cleans my makeup off really nice, it's just everything about it I love. Um, yeah, it's just an oil to cream, so it's a jelly oil cream, you can see it comes out and you can see it turning like oily and then you can see it turning creamy, like it's just like magic and it does such a great job and I love it and when I look on Vinted for it every now and then because you can often find it brand new, really affordable on there um, because it's not cheap but it's lovely and I love it. Then got some Evelon, what a stunning cleanser, such a beautiful cleanser. It's not everyone's taste, like the smell isn't to everyone's taste. I don't mind it personally, I think it's quite um, aromatherapy-esque type scent. So for me it's absolutely fine. Um, I don't get me wrong, I'm not like, oh my god, this is a nice beautiful smell, but I also don't think it's a horrible smell, whereas some people really, really do. I think it does an amazing job at cleaning all my makeup off. Yeah, I'd happily get it again. I've got this little um, Dr. Jart intensive mask. It's a sleep mask. It's just a little tester, and I really don't like it. I, like, It's like a jelly. It went thick onto my skin, didn't sink in at all, which I know a mask doesn't, but then it peeled, like as it dried it peeled, I couldn't sleep in it, even though it says to. I left it on for maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, it was horrible, then I washed it off. So, not for me, um, if you like that sort of thing, it might be better for you, or maybe I used it wrong, but I did follow the instructions, but yeah, I didn't notice it did anything particular to my skin, my skin didn't feel any better afterwards, I just wanted to get it off, because I hated how it felt, so yeah, that's that just got a couple of these little treatments these are the lee stafford hair apology intensive care booster treatments these are nice um just if you need that extra bit of moisture into your hair then definitely give these a go they are intensive they smell really good um i would put it on the ends of my hair i didn't put it at the root but yeah i, I enjoyed i enjoyed these oh i got my little elf brow gel i used to love this stuff if you've seen my empties videos recently you would have seen it it's got like hair fibers in it um, that are brown and I used to use it all the time don't really reach for it now but I used to really really enjoy that I've got two two of those there oh I loved this moisturizer I'm so sad that M Murad is so expensive because this is one of the best moisturizers I found in a long time my skin loved it and of course it did because it's like an 80 pound moisturizer which I can never afford again um I got this in a beauty box but it is really spendy really really spendy intensive recovery cream I cleared it out completely. My skin just loved it. Um, I can't say anything else about it than it loved it. Just drunk it up and it felt so plump and moisturized and soft afterwards. Like it felt beautiful. Yeah, I was gutted when I finished this. Um, I do look on Vinted every now and then to see if I can find one at a really good price. If you see it in an offer anywhere guys or in a beauty box, give me a shout because yeah, I like it a lot. Oh, got this little, um maybelline superstay full coverage concealer i really liked this concealer it's like a tube but the doe foot was really flexible and spongy and yeah it was just a good concealer full coverage concealer i wouldn't use it under my eyes i'd use it more for like acne and spot concealing but i liked it it was really nice oh this is i'm um, again medicaid why is medicaid so expensive this is beautiful i got this in a beauty box this is a medicaid Crystal Retinol, Stable Retinol Night Serum, medium strength with vitamin A. You get 30 mils in here. First off, I really like the packaging because I could get every bit out. Um, yeah, I squeezed the life out of this stuff. It comes out orangey and it smells like cinnamon buns. So I personally love that. I love the scent of it. It was beautiful. But my skin, again, really like this. My acne's been really good recently. I haven't really had any flare up of acne. I get the odd like white head, but I haven't been having any of that awful cystic acne. And these are the sorts of things that I've been using recently. My skin has reacted really, really well. I also noticed that again, it's hydrated, it's plump, it looks full. It's not like dry and patchy anywhere but it's also not overly oily and i do suffer with oily skin yeah i've just been loving loving this i love the texture i love how it feels i just love everything i love the smell um and i felt like it did do a good job and i'm sad i'm so sad that i no longer have it but is what it is what can you do that is i'd have to remortgage my house to be able to afford all this stuff then I've got a Fenty Beauty bronzer. This is in a private island. I love this bronzer. I cleared it out. I've just started on a new one. Um, yeah, it's well loved. Really, really great. I really like Fenty. 
I like a lot of Fenty. Not all of it. I hate the foundation. Hate the primer. Love the bronzer. It's the perfect tone for me. Um, I wish they would bring out like shimmery ones because if you know anything about me by now, it's that I love shimmer on every part of my face. And I love a shimmery bronzer as well as a shimmery blush. This is very matte. Um, but the colour's perfect and it's really nice. But if they did bring a... I mean, I've re-bought it already. I'm using it. But if they did bring a shimmery one out, I'd be all over that. Then we have my little... Um, Milani Luminoso. I love this, but it's all gone. I will buy another one one day. I just don't need it right now. But yeah, it is so dead. It is like more than a hit pan. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful blusher. Little Paula's Choice. I love this exfoliator. This is just a little 30ml one. I'm currently using a full size one. Again, my skin's been loving it. I've been using it for quite a while now. I'd say over six months. I think I'm on my second big full one second or third and then i've used this little one as well um, my skin's been loving it i use it every evening as like my liquid exfoliator and i'll continue to do so i'd imagine because it's been working really really well really well for my acne prone skin so i cannot complain about it at all we're nearly there now guys nearly at the end i've got a load of eyebrow pencils here from primes you've heard me speak about these before i've got three here they're two pounds each they are the best oh i've got hair in my mouth they are the best brow pencils for me really really similar to the benefit one at a smallest fraction of the cost um please don't spend crazy money on an eyebrow pencil everywhere else does amazing versions of them now for so affordable so yeah they are really really nice i've got loads every time i go to primark i buy at least five so when you're in Primark next time, if you haven't tried it already, definitely recommend it. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about Wild. I've been trying Wild recently. Um, and the reason that I... Well, I've been thinking about using... Oh, no, before we get onto Wild, I've just got this little Biosense eye cream, which is stunning. I really love Biosense. One of my favourite brands. Um, but again, spendy, can't afford it. It's a nice little treat. But that eye cream was beautiful and lasted a really good amount of time as well. So if you see that on offer, I'd recommend it. It's a beautiful eye cream. Um, but yeah, onto Wild. So I have... I realised doing these empty hauls that I use a lot of aerosol dove deodorants. So I thought I would try Wild to see how I liked it as it's like better for the environment, right? So these are decompostable, recyclable. Um, you're reusing the outside packaging. What it's made of is supposed to be better for the environment. So I thought I'd give them a try. And oh, one of the other reasons I really bought it as well is because the case that I got mine in is navy blue with pink boobs all over it. And I love things with boobs all over them. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get it and try it out. The refills are about £6 each or you can get like three for £15. So it's pretty spendy for me personally for a deodorant. But I would be willing to pay that if I loved it and it was doing all the great things for the environment and I loved it for my underarms as well. However... I am still using it, I'm still trialling it, but I have used three of these and two minis, which Rufus keeps taking and chewing, but I did have um, one around here. I think Rufus has taken it and chewing it, but they're little travel ones, little push-up ones. Um, now, it says that you should only do two swipes down on the armpit. I've got a... a, a I mean, not the biggest armpit in the world, but it just didn't feel like that was covering enough. So I would do a little bit more than that. It did leave marks on my clothes, which I never have with the Dove aerosol. It was like a white texture. My bras, especially, were like under the armpit here, caked in it by the end of the day, which I didn't like the look of. You're having to wash your bras a lot more regularly than you maybe normally would. Um... It smelled beautiful. They smelled lovely, the ones that I used, apart from this chocolate fondant, which I did not like the smell of. I just didn't like my armpit smelling like chocolate. But I used the jasmine and mandarin blossom, which is stunning. I've got a vanilla and cocoa, coconut one on the go at the moment, which is lovely. And I don't know what smell this was because it's not got a thingy on it. So the smells that, apart from the chocolate one, I love them. And you can, sort of like if you lift your arm up while you're chilling or whatever, you can smell them. They smell really nice. Um, I feel like my armpits have never been irritated ever, like not by shaving, not by deodorant, but I did feel like my armpits were getting a little bit irritated and at one point it was like like red and itchy, only a tiny bit, but like just felt irritated, which I'd never had that problem before. 
I then stopped using them after maybe three, four weeks because I was getting annoyed with my clothes getting it on it, honestly. And went back to spray and then I found out I was getting really bad BO from Dove, which I've never had that before. So now I feel like I need to keep using this so I'm not getting bad BO. So I don't really know what to do. I would love to hear what you guys think of it, if you have used it, um, any recommendations for me for maybe easing off of these, going back to Dove, because yeah, I'm going to use up what I've got, but then after that I don't think I really want to buy them again, but now I feel like if I don't use it I'm getting BO, which I've never had that before. But anyway guys, that's absolutely everything, I'm now going to take this all to the recycling, thank you so much for watching, as always, I really really appreciate it. Rufus is barking outside so I'm going to wrap this up quickly but yeah thanks so much for watching as always um like I said I appreciate it please do hit that subscribe button if you haven't done already please try and interact with my videos if you can I hate to beg you guys but any thumbs up any likes any comments helps me more than you'll ever know if you fancy sharing it someone you might think would be interested even better um but I'm just trying to get myself pushed out a little bit more because my the algorithm i'm assuming unless everyone just hates me now is really not helping me out and my videos are all doing really really badly and and the reach just isn't getting out there like people just aren't seeing my videos so if you could help me out help a girl out i'd really really do appreciate it if you've got this far you've got to the end leave me your favorite makeup emoji or soap emoji or whatever and um, because i do love to see how many of you made it to the end but yeah gonna get on with it gonna go and get doofus in and as always i look forward to the next one guys bye mm -hmm.